He's had an unbelievable career and is a West Ham legend. Today, we are remaking the career of Mark Noble. Now, usually when we do these sorts of things, we're taking existing or former players who are sort of elite Ballon d'Or winning talents. But whilst Mark Noble didn't necessarily hit those heights, I think he's a very good player. And the fact that he's retiring and he was mentioned down in the comments is definitely one that we should really, really do. So if you're new to this series, this is where we remake historical legends of the game and we re-simulate their career. 5, 10, 15 and 20 years into the future, we put them back at the club where they started things and see how they get on. So without any further ado, let's dive in and take a look at a 16-year-old Mark Noble. So guys, here is Mark Noble. He is back at West Ham. He is 16 years of age. He is currently in their under 18s. Now, I've taken his attributes here from his FM05 uh, profile, attributes, card, whatever you want to say. I've taken that, but there's one change that I have made. I have really upped his penalty taking because in that he did have a penalty taking stat of just 10. So I've really updated that. I've really boosted him. I've given him the player traits of play short, simple passes, gets the crowd going and plays the ball with his feet. So I'm hoping he can go on and have another fantastic career. Longer term, I'd love him to stay at West Ham and so much so that if you go on his information on his profile, I have said he is a West Ham supporter and his longer term plan it has a preference to play for West Ham United. Will he stay there a second time around or will he move to pastures new let's jump forward five years time and see how mark noble is getting on so then five years into the future mark noble is still a west ham player and he's kind of basically replaced his former self in the west ham team and look at how well rounded he is looking at his attributes here he's 21 years of age now he's been capped 21 times by the england under 21 scoring eight goals he's now on 59,000 pounds a week but in terms of his overall well-roundedness i think he's brilliant um his mental stats have really really improved physically again he looks pretty darn good probably a little bit quicker maybe than he would have been age 21 i didn't watch a abundance of mark noble but i'm not i'm not fully sure he would have had 60 acceleration he's got 20 passing he's got 19 for penalty taking um but it looks like he's taken one penalty in this season and missed it which really doesn't make sense does it football manager in terms of his career stats over the first few years he didn't play in that first season got five appearances in that second season up to 12 and then he's been a mainstay in the hammers team ever since 35 appearances the following season and then in that most recent season 34 appearances averaging a 7.35 in that most recent season so he is progressing very much he's going to be a very good mainstay in this west ham team and i'm looking forward to seeing how he gets on in terms of his milestones, he's won a FA Youth Challenge Cup with West Ham, made a senior debut against Swansea City, scored his first senior goal against Norwich as well. He also, which is very interesting, won the NXGN Award, which is brilliant for youngsters uh, when he was 19 years of age, 31 appearances, three goals, six assists for Mark Noble in that one there. He's also won the European Golden Boy. Uh, he's in very good company here. As you can see, some of the names here, there's Mbappe, João Felix, Erling Haaland, Pedri, Musiala, Bellingham, Gavi, and most recently, West Ham's Mark Noble, aged 20. Um, then he's also been inducted into the West Ham overall best 11. So there's definitely some room for improvement with Mark Noble, but he's definitely done very, very well over these first five years. Let's jump forward five more years, 10 years in into this career re-simulation to see how he's doing then. Well, 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 10 years into this career re-simulation and West Ham legend Mark Noble is now a Manchester City player. He's now moved to Man City and you'd imagine that this is the time that he is going to win a Premier League title. 49 caps for England at full international level, 16 goals for his country as well, which is a pretty good goal return from a guy playing central midfield. He is now 26 years of age on £275,000 a week. Again, he still looks fantastic. His physicals are probably slightly different to what I would have expected, but he is a model professional and a world-class midfielder. Now, I know the question you're all asking, how much money did Manchester City pay for his services? Uh, so initially, wow, 
Initially, he moved from West Ham to Bayern Munich for £113 million, had two years in the Bundesliga, and then Manchester City paid £134 million for his services, and he's been there for the most recent two seasons. 33 appearances in that most recent season for Manchester City, scoring eight goals and getting seven assists. But a move to the Bundesliga, maybe he won a Bundesliga title over there, and now he's back in England at Manchester City. In terms of his milestones, then, let's have a look at the competitions that he has won. Did he pick up anything? When he was at West Ham, a Premier League Two division championship, uh, he was promote champions, but promoted. How does that work? He's then won a DFL Super Cup at Bayern, a DFB Pokal, a Bundesliga title, another DFL Super Cup, another Bundesliga. So a very successful period in Germany for Mark Noble. Then he comes back to England at Manchester City. He is now a Premier League champion. He's also won the Community Shield, the FA Cup and now most recently the Champions League. They won that final two goals to nil um, and Mark Noble played in that team uh, with some interesting names actually. Edison obviously is there. Pedro Porro, Diaz, Upamecano, Vinjal, uh, Skip is a very interesting one here. Bernardo Silva, Noble, Adi Amy, uh, Lataro Martinez and uh, Gabriel Martinelli who they've obviously purchased from Arsenal. Um, but Mark Noble, Champions League winner. Who'd have thought it? Uh, maybe not me at the start of this video. Um, we'll have a look at some of his other uh, individual awards towards the end. But I think the Ballon d'Or might just be a little bit too much for him. Obviously, he's going to be fighting it out with the likes of Erling Haaland and Kylian Mbappe. Let's jump forward five more years, 15 years into his career to see how he's getting on at Manchester City. So, age 31, 15 years into this career re-simulation, he is now a centurion for his country. 104 uh, uh, caps for Mark Noble now for England. 31 goals. His definite goal ratio is really dried up, but in terms of his attributes, still very, very much the same. But he is still a Manchester City player, obviously occupying that central midfield spot. Looks like they've tried him out a couple of different ones as well on the left-hand side of midfield and a central attack in midfield spot. Um, but naturally, over the last couple of years at Manchester City, he has been doing very, very well. Um, returning a decent amount, but he is playing central midfield so probably not being involved in that action but he's more of a box-to-box -box midfielder in this sort of team I would imagine six goals and 10 assists in that most recent season but he's doing pretty well averaging a 7.48 in the league performances for his career thus far if we go into the milestones and see what other trophies he has won, uh, we were last here in 2031. Uh, since then, he has won another Super Cup there, another Premier League uh, Club World Cup with Manchester City, a Carabao Cup, a Premier League title again. Nations League runners-up for England. Oh, that's disappointing. But another Carabao Cup and another Premier League title. Mark Noble is racking up the awards. We will take a look at his individual awards at the end of this simulation once we've been here for 20 years. Is he going to stay at Manchester City or is he going to move somewhere else? Let's jump forward five more years, the final stop in this journey, and see how he's doing. 36 years of age, Mark Noble is still a Manchester City player. He's only been at three clubs in his entire career. And to be honest, there's two more than I thought he was actually going to go through. 133 caps now for England, 42 goals. Um, he's starting to decline a little bit. His pace has really fallen off. He's jumped down to just that 10 pace now but mentally he's still elite tier and also technically pretty darn good as well for some reason he's not on penalties he's not taken a penalty in this uh most recent season where he's played 42 times in all competitions for manchester city um in terms of things though 13 assists in the course of the season over the course of his career he's had a very good year a very, several very good years at manchester city to be perfectly honest 572 league appearances for mark noble now he's got over 100 career goals 119 career assists and 49 player of the matches that is actually quite a lot especially for someone who's not necessarily a goal scorer for his team and he's averaging a 7.48 average rating over the course of his career now in terms of some of the other competitions that he's won we were last here in 2036 after he was crowned Premier League champions again. A Carabao Cup win there is in there. Another Carabao Cup win. Emirates FA Cup runners up. Champions League runners up. Another Premier League title. Community Shield winner. Another Carabao Cup and another Premier League. Looks like with um, Mark Noble at the helm or in the team, Manchester City are pretty darn good. But back to back to back Premier League titles for Tottenham. 
What has happened to Tottenham? Interesting. The winning Premier Leagues. Who'd have thought it? Uh, but Mark Noble, in terms of some of his individual awards, I can see there the 2040 Ballon d'Or. He's come in third place. We will jump down a little bit and take a look at, uh, at the course of this whole save to see how close he has been in some of these instances. Uh, but if you see Mark Noble, please do let me know. It doesn't look like it thus far, thus far. There he is initially in the 2039 Ballon d'Or. Is that? No, 2038 Ballon d'Or. He finishes third place behind uh, what looks like two new gen players here. Obviously, this dude's got a face because of the Zealand uh, Nugan face pack. Uh, the other dude does not, but he picks up the third place medal there he's third the following year and he's third the following year after that as well ethan leak manchester city youngster is uh is the guy winning the most recent ballon d'or and he's a man city new gen as well so he looks pretty darn good um so you can see the sort of company that he's trying to keep at uh, age 35. In terms of the uh, overall FIFA World Pro 11 throughout the course of the save, he's actually made it into the most recent season one as well. So in terms of the entire course of the save, he is in very good company here. Donnarumma in goal, Pedro Porro. Diaz, Delict, Davies, he's in central midfield alongside Pedri. Then in come the new gens alongside Mbappe and Haaland. I've got this guy here, Pedro Ayozo, who is a Argentine um, coming out of River Plate and is now playing his football at Newcastle United. And then we've got this guy as well, David Beasley, uh, a youngster who's come out of West Brom via Leicester and is now playing in Bayern Munich. Now Bayern always do well in these, so it's no real surprise there. If we go back onto Mark Noble and take a look at his biography he's done pretty well throughout the course of his career and he's gone for quite a lot of money 26 competition victories a dfl super cup for two years a community shield on four occasions with manchester city six carabao cups an emirates fa cup just the once the german dfb pokal just the once as well a uefa super cup with man city two champions leagues a fifa club world cup and two bundesliga titles and six premier league titles as well individually he won the nxgn award he won the european golden boy he's won the pfa young player of the year a couple of times the copper trophy midfielder a champions league midfielder of the season runner up on four occasions uefa men's player of the year third place uh best men's player uh, but the fifa best men's player runner up twice england player of the year on seven occasions wow england player of the year on seven occasions ballon d'or third place on three occasions and the world soccer magazine world player of the year third place on three occasions so overall let me know down in the comments what do you think of this remake of mark noble are you west ham fans disappointed that he left and went to man city via bayern or are you happy for mark noble to have done that a second time around let me know down in the comments and also let me know who you would like me to remake the career of next week but until then guys check out the playlist that's popping up here with all the other career remakes that we've done so far in fm22 and until next time take care and i'll see you soon